Hello everyone. Um, my today's presentation will be on the medicines affecting the respiratory system. Um, basically, uh, my name is Muhammad Ali Haider. I am pharmacist, medical writer, and a trainer. Today's topic, greetings to the presentation, will focus on the impact of medication on the respiratory system. Introduction: Various type of medications to treat respiratory system problems. The treatment of respiratory system problems depend on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Here are some of the most common categories of the respiratory medicines. Antibiotics, drugs that prevent bacterial growth or kill bacteria that cause infection in the lungs such as pneumonia or tuberculosis. Examples of antibiotics include amoxicillin, ciprofloxacin, and topramycin. Bronchodilators. Drugs that relax the airway muscles, widen them, and allow more air to flow into the lungs. They are used to address conditions such as asthma, bronchitis, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease known as COPD. Examples of bronchodilators include albitrol, salmitrol, and aminophylline. Corticosteroids, uh, drugs that elevates inflation and swelling into the airways and lungs. They are used to treat conditions such as asthma, COPD, and allergic reactions. Some examples of corticosteroids are prednisone, um, butosinoride, and triticosinone. Expectorants, drugs that uh, aids in loosening and clearing mucus from the lungs and airways. They are used to treat conditions such as bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, and cubs. Example of expectorants includes uh, geofenicis, amoxtroxol, and corbitocysteine. Decongestants, drugs that contract the blood vessels into the nose and sinuses, decreasing congestion and pressure. They are used to treat conditions such as nasal congestion, rhinitis, and upper respiratory tract infections. Example of de decongestants include pseudofedrine, phenylephrine, and amoxytocerine. Conclusion. Here are the primary categories of respiratory medicines, though there are there may be additional ones based on individual needs and specific conditions. Remember to consult a doctor before taking any respiratory medication as it could have side effects or interact with other drugs. I hope you find this information useful. You can contact me at my number that is 923005341906 and my email address is ali.denon at the rate of gmail.com thank you very much see you next time take care bye